All right, YouTube. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Ferguson. money to fund all these different the police department the fire department I mean you're talking tons of money to, to satisfy all these unions and, and, and um, pay all these people's salaries pensions uh, pay for the uniforms uh, you got to pay the judges you're talking tons of money and the tax just taxes alone on say uh, f uh, f f goods and s services and stuff like that, um, it's just not getting it, you know. So you gotta have other money uh, 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 funds coming in. So if you can like um, say for instance fines you know like fines and fees and stuff like that and that's the same thing that's happening all over the country I wouldn't necessarily um, fault Ferguson because it's happening all over the country it's just, it's just standard procedures because the cities and states and all these other they just don't it's, just, it's not getting them uh, the, enough uh, funds from um, from the taxes, so they have to like come up with all these different other ideas uh, to actually uh, pay for all these services and stuff. But um, what happened in Ferguson is, I think that they've been singled out because you know the the Justice Department was uh, was asked to investigate. But this is happening all over the country where the different um, um, municipalities and, and, uh, and different agencies of the government are uh, looking for funds to fund all the, um, the employees and, and services uh, and that they have to um, um, that they ha have to have in order to keep 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 the um, operations going. City governments, state governments, uh, counties, and all that stuff going. They have to have funds and tons of it to to pay the employees uh, and, and just all around operating fees. It's, it's, it's really expensive. And since uh, when the stock market, uh, well, I don't want to say crash, but um, when the, the stock market was having problems. The government, lost, I mean, not to say the well, the government lost a lot of money too, different agencies and stuff too. So everybody was hurting. So the city government, state governments, all these different governments, they have to come up with different ways to keep 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 these operations going. And I think what Holden found out is that. You got the judges. They, everybody have to be on the same page. The judges have have to say, "All right, um, we gotta. Uh, I gotta agree to what all, uh, what the whoever the city clerks, all these different administrators, what they're coming up with. Say, hey, we gotta find these people for um, for." For, uh, for to to clear uh, their record, suppose they get fined, and then once they pay the fine off and everything is clear, then they gotta pay another fine to, to get it clear. I mean, you got this is all in, in, I don't wanna say use the word ingenuity, but it's a way that the city governments, these city employees. They they all trying to get on the same page and trying to keep the government running. It just so happens that um, 
they uh, they probably just didn't spread it out. They were just only targeting, according to a holy report, they was only targeting using black people because usually when something happened to black people, you know, usually everybody just, oh, yeah, they just did that. But they would set it up so that it was only affect black people, the fines and stuff. They say, oh, well, black people don't pay the bill, so if they don't pay the bill, then they get hit. Then they get taxed more or, or fined more for not paying the bill or, or clearing their fine or something like that. And that's what generally would happen. Anyway, let's get get, get to uh, get to these joke jokes that uh, evidently, I guess, uh, the Justice Department came up with. Uh, they were snooping around. I guess some of the city employees was was uh, passing around a few jokes and stuff about. I think in 2008 they said something about Obama was he wasn't gonna get elected because. Uh, what black man actually hold, hold a job that long so that was one of the jokes and then another joke was about a black women should ha have an abortion to uh, lower the crime rate I guess it was in reference to black people being like uh, criminals or something like that which is you know well anyway it's not, it's not always the case but um, that, that was some of the jokes, and um, a couple of judges, I, I'm going to say a couple of judges, I think one of the municipal judges resigned because they had to get them all on, this, uh, on the same page in order to fund all these, to fund all these uh, different services and keep the city going. Uh, they have to come up with the... Uh, different fees and services because it's a it takes a lot of money to, to fund the cops and and, and uh, pay for their pensions and and keep uh, pay for the judges the judges don't come cheap you know they hundred thousand two hundred thousand probably half a million a year you got to pay pay out to the judges so these cops don't come cheap you're looking at a hundred thousand dollars for them so you know, it's 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 not cheap to fund these uh, services that that the people are getting, and they have to come up with since the um, the people got laid off a couple of years ago, and the stock market was almost crashed. I mean, you have to come up with some reason. I mean, some. Uh, I don't want to use the word ingenuity, but different ways to get the uh, uh, funds and revenue in, into into the the city, and, uh, county, and, and state coffers to keep keep everything going. If you don't, you get you gotta have to cut out bankrupts. Uh, a small city like uh, like Ferguson, I mean, they could probably operate with. Uh, the city they could probably operate with, with the county uh, uh, police department uh, I don't know how much that would cost them but um, evidently they want to they want to have their own police department it might uh, civil wise uh, civil rights wise it might be good it might be bad I don't know anyway that's that's some of the stuff that's gone on in Ferguson. I hope things get better. Uh, it probably won't, mainly because people now, especially the newer generation of people, not necessarily, I don't want to say they're not hardworking people, but they're looking to like the, this, uh, uh, have this wonderful life, you know, where you have the apartments, the, nice apartments, the nice house and the homes and the cars and all that stuff, but uh, you have to have a good job for that. And now the people, people are not, uh, we just don't have, we've got to tighten the budget now. You've got to tighten the belt now as far as like some of the goods and services. You might have to lay off a few cops, you know, you never know. But, um, the people trying to avoid that by coming out with all these different fees. 
it just so happened that, that they, you know, just entrapped a lot of black people into their little schemes of trying to get revenue for the city.